Hi guys, and welcome to my video. In this video, I want to give a brief overview of the creator dashboard. So if you go to create.roblox.com, you will be at the creator hub, which is not the focus of this video. This video, we're focusing on the dashboard. So if we can remember that word, the creator dashboard. So I'm currently under my profile here. And the first thing you can see are the creations. I have my experiences. I, have, I can access events, avatar items, development items. But in this case, I want to focus on the creation that I have, um, I have built on Roblox. This is my experience. Okay, so here is the overview. Okay, we got some analytics, some insights, things like that. Okay, um, I don't want to go too deep into analytics. I made a video about that, teaching about analytics. So there's this button here to edit in studio. I can go straight to studio. I can view it on the Roblox website. So you'll notice here um, below overview, we have a few categories. So these buttons are here with, with the arrows. You'll notice they won't do anything, but it will. These are the categories. So you'll notice, right? We have, we'll start off with configure. All right. So under configure, we have the settings of this experience. All right, this is the title, this is the description. You can edit directly here. You can change whether or not the game is set to public or private, okay? Um, things of that nature. All right, and then we have the places associated with um, the experience. So if in my game, I have five worlds. And you can see they're named here. This, the name of the world here is actually Intella, but um, because it's the starting place, it takes the title and the icon of the entire experience. So then we have the four other planets, Paradoxica, Infernius, Vedronox, and Prismatica. So here you can see, okay, we have our individual places. Um, let's start off with this a different place. Well, let's start off actually here. This is the main starting place. And you can notice this is the icon. Okay, um, this is the what they see on the surface when you sponsor your game. This is the first thing they see. It's that square icon that represents your whole experience. And then here are the thumbnails. So this is important to remember. Um, you, you can upload up to 10 thumbnails. You can see I have done 10. Um, and so um, you can also upload here a video for 500 Robux. So a video you have on YouTube or whatever. You can have that for your thumbnail. You can upload multiple videos. Okay, so keep in mind these are the formats you got to work with. And so we have these additional things like access, uh, maximum um, uh, players per server is 200, um, Roblox optimized. Here's the version history, so a list of all the different um, versions that I upload, and you can actually revert or restore. So we're, as you can see, I'm currently on version 1137. So that means I've updated this game or this uh, place over a thousand times. And you can see if I made a mistake here, we can go back four days into the past and we can restore. Okay, we can restore the game back to this date, or if we need to go further, um, back depending on how far back you need to go, you can restore your game back to that version. Okay, this is permissions, things like this. Um, place copying allows users to download a copy of this place. I have not allowed that. Okay, um, things like that allow all gear genres, gears, whatever. So. This is the starting place, but um, let's also look at an additional place. So this is Planet Paradoxica. This is another place within my experience that you can teleport to. So you can, I can adjust the icon. You can notice it's default. So it would just use this icon when you teleport. You'd see this, but you can upload individual thumbnails for the individual places. So when you teleport to uh, Paradoxica, you will see this I, uh, thumbnail as as it loads okay so it's the unique thumbnail for that specific place you don't see it on the main game page um, it's when you teleport okay so again with all of the individual places you can you can change the version history and all that okay so we have permissions here like this is for assets and usually the assets that you own are the ones you can change permissions on 
We have analytics. So again, I'm not going to go too deep into analytics, but this is the analytics section. We have retention, engagement, acquisition, and audience. And then you have the graphs that you can look at to notice your progress over time in these areas. Again, I made a video on analytics. I encourage you to try uh, look at that if you want to learn more about these specific things, which is very important. Again, monetization uh, will be given more graphs, kind of like the uh, um, analytics developer products. Okay, these are the these are for now. I have donation buttons, but many people have things like purchase um, uh, power ups or purchase currency. Those are the developer products we're talking about. And we have game passes. We can uh, add our game passes and change the the um, icons for those. The pictures. We have avatar items. Okay. So things are selling clothes or whatever, subscriptions. This is if you're adding those paid subscriptions. Um, like, uh, for example, Slap Battles has a VIP, which you pay $2.99 USD every month to be a part of that VIP group. You can, you can make that purchase within Roblox. So if you want to have paid subscriptions, this is where you do it. Okay, these are engagement payouts. So like... Um, um, premium payouts, things like that. You, so monetization. So we'll, we'll go back and recap. This is overview. All right. Configure with its categories. Analytics with its categories. Monetization, making money with its categories. Game passes, all that good stuff. So here we have monitoring. So we have performance. So we can see in real time, you know, how many people are playing. Um, and it tells you, okay, on computer, blah, 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 blah. And you'll get your graphs. Here's the error report. Okay. So you'll notice um, here within the error report, um, you'll be given. Um, so, for example, there's been a spike in errors on this particular day, and I would want to, there are further details here, um, and I would want to investigate that, okay? So I don't want to go too far into detail with that because it's kind of um, uh, personal information, but you can utilize that for your own experience. Okay, we have memory stores with monitoring, activity history, so things like that. So here's the audience. So let's jump to the audience, okay? Access settings. All right, let's see what we've got. All right, let's um, let's move on to communication settings. All right, all right, let's see. So this is strong language. It's something to do with seventeen plus. You can adjust that. Okay, allow strong language for seventeen plus. It's a new feature. This is questionnaire that you can um, help Roblox, I believe, understand your game a little bit better. Um, by filling out this questionnaire. Localization has to do with translating. Um, so if someone um, speaks Chinese and they uh, um, are playing my game, which is coded and written and everything is in English, they can get translations here. Okay, so they get, again, the next category is engagement. Okay, so here's social links. You can adjust um, social links. Um, I have my YouTube link, there's Discord and Roblox group, you have Gilded or whatever you want, you can add to your to your game page and all that. We have updates that you can announce, notifications that you can you can announce. And this is new, uh, my community, it's it's uh, referencing to Gilded. So Roblox is advertising how Gilded is a very useful app for uh, creating a community and and connecting with your community, um, launching you know having announcements, um, uh, having calendars and Roblox integration. So I might look into this further and, and see what's going on here, what the hub hubbub is all about. Now let's see. Now we have um, badges, of course. So you can um, update your badges um, that you um, um, award to players. Okay, and then down here on the bottom, we have promotion, we have advertising, so you can do those ads, the banners, or the towers, or the little squares on the bottom that you see when you're playing Roblox. Um, but uh, we also have sponsorships that, uh, I believe there are new sponsorships where you can pay real money, or you can um, um, you can use Robux to sponsor your game, where when you're searching, you'll see within the search results, there are some sponsored games in the results. Okay, so... 
Again, um, this is this. These are the this is the creator dashboard of my personal profile. Of course, I can also come over to my group and look at the dashboard for my group, adjust cl uh, clothing items, experiences there. So again, I'm under my profile. If you want, you can go under your groups and and make uh, adjustments there. So, a quick uh, recap once again. Um, just to summarize before the, we end the video here, we have the overview, we have configuring, okay, so we have adjusting settings, places like the title and, and, and whether it's public or private, we have analytics, which is super important, okay, so checking how your game is performing over time, monetization, all about making money, develop a product, monitoring the performance, error reports, memory stores, we have the audience, okay, so um, translations, access, communication, engagement, the community, social links, updates, all that good stuff, badges, and promotion, which is advertising, essentially. So this is the creator dashboard. It's an extremely useful place to be when you are making these adjustments to your game. Um, many people I have found don't really know much about the creator dashboard. So when it comes to uploading thumbnails or creating badges or whatever, there's a lot of confusion there. So um, I invite you to explore Explore this. Remember, it's create.roblox.com on the internet browser. Create.roblox.com, and then you have your dashboard right here. Okay, you have, of course, you have the main page, the creator hub, and all this extra stuff like the talent and the forums, but we're focusing on the creator dashboard where you have the power to adjust all these things about your experiences, your group, things of that nature. So I want to leave it right there, guys. I encourage you. Um, if you have any, you know, additional questions, go ahead and let me know. I'm all about answering those. Um, go ahead and subscribe. Okay, I do a lot of developer guides. I do a lot of um, content videos, game contents, reviews, all that good stuff, original music, and so on and so on. So um, I want to leave it right there, guys. And I want to wish you a great day. And and I want to wish you luck in your endeavors as you uh, create awesome experiences or whatever it is you choose to do on Roblox. All right, guys. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.